Tesla Giga Texas achieved a new production milestone, a rate of 1000 Model Y a week. The plant produces two versions of the Tesla Model Y powered by 4680 type batteries and 2170 type batteries. Let's see how Tesla achieved this milestone and what is the main obstacle to produce more. In this report, I'm going to tell you about that, friends. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and also like this video if you found it interesting. Tesla has just achieved another production related milestone at Gigafactory Texas this time, which is ramping up production of the Model Y electric crossover. According to Hallmark's catalog uh, Twitter user, the plant Giga Texas reached a production rate of 1,000 cars per week, a level achieved by Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg plant in June, just about two months ago, which I reported at this Talk News channel. The news is based on a photo reportedly shared by a Tesla employee on Snapchat. It presents the shape of the Tesla Giga Texas plant, the company's logo, the number of 1,000 cars produced and the signatures of the employees involved in the ramp up of the production of Model Y at Giga Texas. It's estimated that Tesla needed four months to achieve 1,000 uh, cars per week production since the production started at Giga Texas in April. The plant is envisioned for significantly higher output of electric vehicles, above 250,000 Tesla Model Y per year, according to the 2022 quarter two report of Tesla. So it's just the beginning friends at Gigafactory Austin in Texas. The uh, main obstacle now, I'm going to tell you the main obstacle to, for Tesla to produce more. The main obstacle at Gigafactory Texas for Tesla to produce more cars in Texas appears to be the availability of the 4680 type cylindrical battery cells, which were used in the all new Tesla Model Y all wheel drive version. This seems to be the main reason why Tesla has started to produce in Texas also the Tesla Model Y long range all wheel drive powered by 2170 type cylindrical battery cells, the same as in Fremont, California. Those two versions are produced side by side. Tesla Model Y all wheel drive. 4680 type cells and structural battery pack, 279 miles, for, which is 449 kilometers of EPA range, 19 inch wheels, or 269 miles, 433 kilometers with 20 inch wheels. And the second option is Tesla Model Y long range all wheel drive, which the specs are 2170 type cells, 330 miles of EPA range, which is 531 kilometers with 19 inch wheels, or 318 miles, which is 512 kilometers with 20 inch wheels. Friends, the addition of the 2170 type version is a short term solution to produce Model Y electric vehicles at the site Giga Texas, but the main task is to ramp up the newer version with the structural battery pack. That means Tesla needs to produce more batteries to supplement the need. Time will tell how quickly the company will be able to increase the output of the 4680 type battery packs. Uh, 250,000 units per year and assuming 70 kilowatt hour per pack, the need is for 17.5 gigawatt hour annually and that's quite a lot of batteries for electric vehicles. About half of the manufacturing capacity of the entire Tesla Gigafactory 1 in Nevada. Let me know your thoughts, friends. This battery obstacle, uh, this battery need is a main obstacle for Tesla right now to ramp up the production and uh, of Model Y and in its Gigafactories Berlin and Gigafactory Texas, but also to start the production of the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi. Last night, I was discussing a, a question with my friend who owns trucking company. So he was asking me about Tesla Semi, when the deliveries are going to talk, uh, when the deliveries of Tesla Semi are going to start. I said, wait, I said, Tesla doesn't, hasn't even started the production of the semi. He said, what is, what is the reason? I said, batteries. Tesla needs batteries and also Tesla needs lots of mega chargers for uh, for Gigafact, uh, for the Tesla Semi to start. I said the main obstacle is the battery. For example, if Tesla has imagined um, uh, 20 batteries, 
to put in one Tesla semi for those 20 batteries this is assuming huh? this is uh, not not uh, uh, the right correct uh, numbers but for those 20 batteries Tesla can build probably 20 model Y vehicles sell 20 model Y vehicles to 20 model Y vehicle reservations holders who are waiting in line and waiting for months and Tesla can probably make more money than putting all those batteries in one Tesla semi and giving it to one owner so we're going to wait and see how Tesla will improve the production of uh, uh, the batteries and that will be the main obstacle to overcome for Tesla in the near future. So what do you think friends about all of these developments? This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Let me know your thoughts on this and uh, but still Tesla has done great you know increasing the production and ramping up the production to 1000 model Y per week at Gigafactory Texas. Subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla electric vehicle news. Uh, like this video if you found the information helpful and look forward to several more coming today. I have several very interesting Tesla and electric vehicle news coming today. God bless you. Peace be with all of you.